Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be getting FSR4 to work on some games in Linux that do not work on all. But let's get started. First things, you want to go over to the release side. And you're going to want to download this doohickey right here. Once it's done, you obviously will extract it in your downloads. But we need to talk about what you need. Mesa Git is required. You don't have a choice about that. If you want to use this, it requires Mesa Git. This is the command right here to install Messagit on Cache OS. If you want to, you can also use the Cache OS repos on normal Arch or Endeavor to grab this as well, but you gotta switch to these. It's very important or this won't work at all. Please remember that. Next, we choose a game. We're going to be choosing Silent Hill, so we're gonna browse local files and I need to remove something real quick because if I don't it's going to compromise the install so uh, just let me <clears throat> get rid of everything and we're going to click this again because I got to go to my downloads this is where we extracted everything okay so to do that it's right click extract creates a folder inside the files we're going to copy and paste just like that now to make sure that I don't have any issues which it seems I will not good I'm gonna exit this we're gonna right click OptiScaler setup.bat it's gonna open this up right here okay and we're going to choose five then ah uh, because this is FSR4 we're on AMD 9070 XT. I'm going to choose one. And we're going to choose one again for using DLSS spoofing. And there we go. That's it. So that's set up. We're going to hit play now. Make sure you're on Proton Experimental. Okay. Or there's a version two, uh, which also helps. So Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge is required. So to do that, we're going to go to tools. Okay. You're going to go to proton experimental right here. Go to properties beta, and you're going to select the latest on tested DXPK, yada, yada, yada. All right. This is important for getting this to work. Hit play after that. And it should start up immediately. Hopefully one of these days it's working. There it goes. Now, the same thing will go with other games as well, but again, not all games will work. Like, I haven't gotten this to work on Monster Hunter Wilds yet. I'm still trying to figure that out, but you're only given a certain amount of times you're allowed to open up the game, right? So, it's uh, annoyingly complicated. Now, we're going to go in-game before we do anything else, because it's super important to do so. Not doing so could cause crashes, and we don't need to crash the game, Okay. Once it's loaded, we are going to press the insert button and you've got to select FSR DLS from the option center of the game in the scaler, okay? So go to settings, display and graphics, and where is it? Dynamic resolution is off why ray tracing can be turned on super sampling none so we want to change this to it's not letting us use dlss well that's sad we're supposed to be able to it's supposed to spoof the thing weird okay well that's fine with me now when you hit this, you're going to have the ability to just hit apply and FSR4 is going to work just like that. It'll be automatically selected and you can tell because everything is super detailed. You press insert again to close it. Oh yeah, look at that. It basically piggies backs off of uh, FSR3. So just wanted to let you know how that works. And nonetheless, it works out pretty well now. They fixed most of the inconsistencies. You can see the particles are working very well off in the distance, 
which normally doesn't happen with FSR4, like, uh, or FSR3, sorry, I get confused sometimes in my old age. So if we go here to this, we set it to performance mode. You notice it's still very crisp and clean, which is one of the main selling points of FSR4 is that everything is AI generated and improved and yada, yada, yada. Now I've been asked to show how to get this working multiple times. And now that the pull request is merged to Messigit and that the pull request is merged at Proton Experimental, uh, it's just installing Messigit and lib32 Messigit to get this running and that's it. So yeah, uh, by the way, when you use FSR4, you're able to turn on frame generation without it screwing with anything. As you can see, it's still good. So this also means we get more performance and it still looks really good. So yeah, I hope this helps. And if you take a look at the fan, take a look at the fan, you can actually see the individual wires in the fan. It's not really disappearing or having any issues. It's, e it's even able to make out the normal map on the window and everything like that. Like, There's just a lot of cool stuff to be happy about with FSR4. I wish we didn't need the technology, but unfortunately we do. And I don't think it's going anywhere. I think this is the perfect excuse for developers to be lazy and use FSR4 instead of optimizing just like DLSS and other things. Anyway. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait. Shouldn't I show you how to do it as well within other games, like with Cyberpunk? It's the same thing. There's literally zero difference. If we head in here, you basically just use Proton Experimental like that. Make sure this is clicked. All right. Head into Advanced make sure FSR4 upgrade is set to one and make sure the files are in place for wherever you have it's it installed so for me uh, it's in games and uh, heroic cyberpunk bin x64 and all the files are in here okay so you can see that I already have it pre-installed and it's same thing goes for that you basically go in the game you either select FSR4 or you select DLSS with the override. And uh, you know what? In fact, let me just show you. It'd be a lot easier to show you, wouldn't it? Hopefully it's going to actually start up here real quick. That'd be really convenient. There we go. Nice. It booted. Got to give it a second. Do, 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 do. By the way... Mesa Git comes with a huge performance boost for ray tracing on the 9070 XT, so it should be a lot faster than it was before. Because uh, before there was like a 20% performance drop, unfortunately. It was a new, it's a new graphics card, right? So Mesa is still a work in progress. And don't let that deter you from buying one. Just buy one and learn to report stuff to Mesa and be a champion of the people. So as you can see, we have DLSS enabled for this. And then there's transform model and we're on performance and we have ray tracing set to ultra frame generation is off of course so let's say continue we're out in the middle of nowhere which is definitely fun but we should get better performance overall because of the ray tracing improvements come on load sweet oh yeah not bad. I mean, it's not really that heavy of an area, but uh, nonetheless, it still looks absolutely fantastic. It's still not fully utilizing, I don't think, uh, the ability of this card for ray tracing. Because it actually does a ridiculously good job on Windows. And that is really cool. The faster we go... The more things have to load in at a time, so I don't know. Whoa. Oh, that's a nice little ride. I wonder if that's weaponized too. Oh, I remember this. I did this. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just 
click here, you can see that we're using FSR4 right there. There's no frame generation enabled or anything like that. Why are we moving backwards? We're supposed to be going forward towards the city, my friend. So, I don't know. Maybe the guide was good enough. I hope it helps. I can't really help with support on the thing because, again, it works with some games but not all games. And it's pretty straightforward now. So, uh, if you're having an issue with it or if there's any graphical bugs or anything like that, uh, this is the best that they can do for now. They've said that in the, uh, in the thread when they were adding support for this. So try to remember that and uh, try not to get discouraged from trying other games. Don't just try one game and be like, oh, this sucks. It doesn't work. It's not how reality, you know, functions. There's a cave up there. Do you see that? See the little white spot up there in the mountains? There's a cave. What's in the cave? Uh... I hate when smoke looks all pixelated like that. Hostile area. I want to go to the cave. I know it's completely stupid, but... It's a cave. How could you not want to go to the cave? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wah. Uh, uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, little formations like that in video games are the, the most fun. Because it's like, oh, hey, there's something there. And, uh, I don't know, maybe there's, like, a car in the cave that I can, like, have. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, excuse me. I'm not supposed to be any damn radio on. I have the friggin' thing disabled, so... Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh no. There's a cave. We're gonna leave my car right here and we're gonna kill everything. He's perfect. Ah, crap. He's not taking very much damage. Okay. Thank you. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, you still have it? Thank you. That's called using your brain. Well, there was no car back here, but uh, there was some stuff. What are you? Sure. Okay. Well, we just took on a whole bunch of people. That was fun. So now we know what's up here. I really want to keep that damn thing. But it never lets me. There we go. Bye, everybody.